what this video is intending to help with is a situation that I've encountered a couple times with batteries. They have a tendency to drop to zero volts and then they go to zero volts and they go to a very high impedance state and then they don't want to charge anymore. Every charger I put them into blinks, warns, tells me that there's either no battery there or the battery has a, has a problem. There is a way to jumpstart the battery to get it to accept the charge again. And you have to be careful with this. This battery's at zero volts. I'll get the probes out and show you. But there's just no voltage on this battery. And when and, and sometimes that's fine. You can have a battery go down to zero volts, throw it on a charger. The charger hits it with a little bit of current to start the charging cycle. And it then just starts. It's fine. So let me go to DC. That's in the millivolt range. There's no. And so I'll just for comparison, I will throw this on here. And my, so this 1.36 volts. Put it in the charger, doesn't want to charge, not happy. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna jump start it. Here we go. All I'm gonna do is take the meter, put it in, you don't need the meter for this, but I, well, yes you do. Because you wanna watch for current flow. You need, need a meter for this. You either need an amp clamp, or if you're feeling, if, if you're feeling, <laughs> Look, you, you probably can get away with your uh, meter on an amp scale at high, as a high current measurement, at least 10 amps. And what I'm gonna do is I'll put it on the 20 amp scale, just put it around this cable. The reason why I can put it around this cable, because even though this cable has four strands in it, is that I'm using the shell, I'm using the grounded shell to pass current. So there's only one conductor. So I have the loop going in one direction. And I'm taking this Goal zero battery, stick in the end loop battery in the opposite direction so that when I short them to, to each other with this cable, this is gonna induce potential across the goal zero battery and try to charge it at pretty high current. It's probably gonna hit about two amps, maybe two and a half amps, and then you'll probably see it fall off pretty rapidly after that. If the battery starts to get hot in your hand, immediately discontinue this. And it shouldn't take more than maybe five seconds. Initially, you may not see any current flow. Here we go. Hit it. Six amps. I only hit it for a second or so. That was way more than I thought it would be. I thought it would be about two, two and a half. One more. So let's take a look real quick at this. Let's see what our let's see what our charge is at. Oh, it's an AC. I'm like, what? Can't be down to zero. One point three five. So it recovered back to one point three five. So it dropped a little bit. And this one could show a little bit of a charge, like 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Yep, there we go. So now we have a voltage on this battery. It's falling rapidly. The, the little bit of loading that this meter's putting on it is killing it. But I'm gonna pull it off of that real quick. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna plug it in to the only charger that's actually gonna accept it right now because my other fast chargers will not accept it. Even, these are kind of older. These are about seven to eight years old. Yeah, this is a 2012. The fast chargers will not accept it. This is, these were used in old battery packs that would go into the sun with a solar panel. They've been heavily used. And then I'll take the battery, plug it in there. Oh, still showing null. Wow, that, that voltage fell off pretty quick then. So let's hit it again. I'm gonna zero it. Yeah, that's a lot of amps, four amps. That's fine. That should be plenty. And then we get this back into view. And I'll plug it in. There we go. 0 0.55. It's falling fast. No. <laughs> these batteries are really. The thing you need to know as well is that when you recover these batteries, if you have a charger like this lacrosse technology one or something similar, they need to go on a refresh cycle. It's about three seconds. And then we'll throw it back in there. There we go. 7.7. Seven. Hit it before it goes below null. There it goes, it's gonna to go to 200 milliamps charge. Lowest charge level you can you can get it to. 200 milliamps is the lowest this will allow. 
and now it's charging it. And you'll start seeing the voltage climb quickly. And yeah, it will need to go through a refresh cycle because these cells don't have a memory effect, but I've successfully been able to take some of these. Th these are 2300 milliamp hour, I think. And so I've been able to get cells like this that are nulled out through maybe one or two refresh cycles on a charger like this to get them close to around maybe 1800 to 2000 milliamp hour, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good considering the fact that they, were, they appeared like they were just completely flat and dead. That's the way you can get the smarter chargers to, to try to charge the battery when they refuse to. Again, be careful. Don't hold it in short for too long because then you just, you put a lot of strain on the good battery and these can handle maybe about, I think this discharge rate curve maxes out at around four amps, four or five, maybe between four and six amps. So what we were seeing wasn't like killing the battery because this thing is such, this battery is such a high impedance that it's actually limiting the amount of current that flows through this battery. That being said, you still don't want to hold it for too long like that because you want to, you want to once you get this voltage back up on the, on the dead cell, you want to slowly bring that charge level back up and help it slowly come back to life. That's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.